Basil. And joining me now is NJ Pax Vice President of Arts Education, Sandra Bowie, and Danielle Thompson. Uh, Danielle is an actress, NJ Pack teaching artist, and I might add a graduate of the Arts Education Program. Hey, great to see you both. Good to see Good you. To see you Thanks too. for being here. So Sandy, let's mm -hmm. let's let's get right into it, as I like to say. Okay. Tell me about the Arts Education Program. I hear uh, you have a heck of a lot of stuff going on over oh, there. Oh, we have a heck of a lot of stuff going on. We're the fourth largest arts education program in the nation, and we are the largest arts provider of programming, of arts education programming in the state of New Jersey. We're a really large comprehensive program. We have a, a number of types of programs because we know how important it is to give that student some sense of continuity in programming. We want to impact as many students' lives and education as we can, and we want to provide the possibility of sustainability, and we know how important those things are in arts education. So we have four core programs. We offer in-school residency programs where teaching artists go into the schools and teach an arts curriculum. and. Within that programming, they also the teachers receive professional development, and we also do other professional development workshops for teachers, i.e., the sustainability piece, because when we're gone, the teacher can continue this work. And we also have performances in our residency programs. Students see performances, and other students with arts education programs can come to our performances and see all the yellow school buses outside of NJPAC, which is a, a wonderful site for everyone. And we have our arts training program, and Danielle is in that arts training program program. She's teaching in it now and she also attended it. We're students who really want to uh, enrich their work in their schools or wherever and really want to study the arts toward mastery can come to our, I call them our conservatory programs because they are conservatory style with great professors. So you see, there's a lot going on. Well, well, there, there sure is, mm -hmm. and of course, it's all about the students and absolutely uh, and the teachers. So, speaking about absolutely. the students, here we have <laughs> a graduate of the program, someone yep. who's working. Tell me about the impact this program has had on you and your life and your career. And Whew, where do I begin? <laughs> well, I started out in the arts program about 11 years ago in the summer youth performance workshop, and from there, there I actually won the 40,000 Star Ledger scholarship award. Tell me about that. I'm sorry to interrupt, but what, what did that do for you? Uh, oh my gosh. Well, I got a chance. I went to Rutgers University and uh, got, I majored in acting and I got a chance to study abroad in London and um, it pretty much paid for my whole college experience. So I, there's no words to explain how, you know, amazing NJ Pack has been to me. Okay. Yeah. I need to ask you about London. I, I didn't know that. This sounds, this sounds to me pretty cool. Right, right, yeah? right, right. A whole semester, London, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, all Shakespeare. And it was one of the best moments of my life because at that point I wasn't trained in Shakespeare the way mm -hmm. I am now. And it, it was phenomenal. I got to perform on the Globe stage and it was beautiful. Wow, that sounds so great. It's, and I, I can see why you got the scholarship. I've, I've <laughs> only known you a few minutes, but I, I can tell. Well, Jeff, uh, I have to say, please. you know, I'm always so proud when I see our students. She's gone full circle. I talked about continuity. There are so many ways to enter the program and remain in it so that you can work, as I said, toward mastery. And Danielle has done that. And she's teaching for us now. So where she started, she's teaching in the program she started in. And so many of our students go through the program, come back to us. And it, it makes mm -hmm. us really proud to see how the arts impact lives and, and education. And all of our students don't go forward in acting or in, uh, in the arts. They, they go into all kinds of areas, but they always have this artistic training to uh, enhance their lives. Well, I know that I love teaching. So Danielle, tell me about teaching. How is it? I think? absolutely love it. You know, a lot of these kids aren't exposed to the arts. So I go in and I'm, I teach ballroom dancing and I <laughs> teach acting and also performance technique. And these kids are like, whoa, they go home to their parents and they're showing their parents and they have a new appreciation for the arts that they never had before then. You know, it's all been academics, academics, and they get a chance to excel in something totally different and also maybe even make a career out of it, like myself. <laughs> well, that would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, the Young Artist Talent Showcase? Young Artist Talent Showcase? Young Artist Talent Search. Search, okay. Yes. Yeah. Tell me about that, won't you? 
Well, that's uh, the way that we enroll uh, all of our classes, and it's also the way that we uh, select students for our scholarships. We have two primary scholarships that uh, Danielle mentioned, our Star Ledger Scholarship, which is a college scholarship, and our Carollo Scholarship, which is a classical music scholarship for students still in school. But what uh, the Young Artist Talent Search is, is a wonderful celebration of the arts. It's an audition and you know auditions are very popular now but this is a different kind of audition because these students are auditioning, are auditioning to train in the arts, to, to grow and to stretch and to learn more about the arts after school so they're already disciplined children and we know the arts help with disciplining children so they're coming in to, uh, to, to go to our, some of our many programs that we have and we had 435 students applying for Young Artist Talent Search from all over the the state of New Jersey. So it's a way to enroll students, but it's also a way for us to bring the community together in celebration of the arts. So we have these great teachers and these great professionals that are coming in to, to look at the students and to look at their auditions and to work with them. Uh, to, uh, before they place them in a particular class. And we also have our, we, at NJPAC we have a wonderful, wonderful volunteers. Many of them are retired teachers. They've taken over the event. They love the children. They love to see them work. They're committed to arts education. And they're sitting there talking to the students before they go into the audition, calming them down, getting them ready to go. So it's really a celebration for us. And the Center for Arts Education is just filled with great talent, uh, great uh, students who really want to continue their work in the arts. All right, you know, we have less than 30 seconds left, so really quickly, Danielle, okay. tell me, uh, what's your favorite credit? What's your best credit so far? What, what have you done? I actually just did a one-woman show uh, called Warriors Don't Cry. An hour and 15 minutes, all me by myself. Uh, it's set in a civil rights era, and it's about the Little Rock Nine, and it's one of the most uh, impacting piece I've ever done in my life. It's, it's such a beautiful piece that goes, that talks about the uh, Central High students. Well, as I said to my first guest, I wish we had the whole half hour because again, this is really, really interesting. We'll definitely have to have you back. So thanks so much for being Thank with us you. here Thank on you. Carpe Diem at Montclair State University. And stay with us because Lawrence P. Goldman, NJ PAC's president and CEO, he's in the house. That's all next, right here on Carpe Diem. 